Dudes, what's up? Maximilian here, and my god, it's taken nearly 18 years for me to play another version of this character. Fulgore is out, but he's a little bit different than the rest of the cast, while being kind of similar in other ways. What I want to do is a quick beginner kind of like introduction tutorial for Fulgore to get you guys started and hit the ground running with this character as soon as you're able to play as him. First, let's cover a few moves that are extremely effective with his on the ground as far as normals. Generally, Crouching Medium Kick is pretty fantastic. This thing reaches pretty damn far and comes out fairly fast as well. I found that his Standing Light Kick also seems to be really good and kind of like very good on, on frame advantage as well. This is kind of like a setup, so if they block this stuff, it tends to put you in pretty good advantageous position. Shockingly, um, he's got somewhat some something similar to Jago's Forward Roundhouse which is forward heavy punch. This is kind of a pressure move. Uh, it moves him forward, it allows you to do a throw after, like within the certain range you need to, and that's all really good. The thing though with Fulgore, besides these moves, is that a lot of the things that around this character are going to revolve is his, is his reactor gauge. You'll notice in the bottom right there is a reactor gauge to the character, and you can actually charge up certain moves with this. Uh, and there's also some select normals leading into it that make it easier to charge up. Generally, the charge mechanic it's just fireball back with light kick. Or you can do fireball back with medium kick and get two pips. Or fireball back with heavy kick and get three. You can actually hold down the heavy kick and just charge it up as much as you want. The funny thing is, is that you can now do a variety of things with moves. You can cancel one move into another really fast, like pew pew. Uh, I think you can even do it like... Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh. You can actually... Okay, so if you already did one version of a move in a combo, it looks like you can't do it again. What it does is that it makes Fulgore kinda crazy, like the amount of things he can do at this point can get pretty nuts, and if he has a lot of nuke reactor or reactor gauge to, to build up to within a combo or a block string, you can keep doing stuff, like here and here and here and forward and all this crazy crap. But how do you get to this reactor gauge? If you can only charge it in this certain method, what are some of the best ways to do it? And let me show you how. The first one, and the most obvious, is, is Heavy Kick. His heavy kick is called, like, I think, the force kick. And if you look at it, thwap, it knocks the opponent all the way back and is actually a hard knockdown. But if you cancel this into a charge of some kind, like the heavy charge, look what happens. And you can block by the time they get up. It's really good. Um, another way is actually throwing. Characters that are kind of similar to Fulgore are Spinal in a way, because Spinal gets, he has to get skulls to do crazy things, and Fulgore has to get this reactor gauge to, to do crazy things. Check out what you can get off of a throw with Fulgore. Oh no, he, she died, she died, hold on. You see how he immediately goes into it? You can almost cancel the end of throw animations into into the reactor gauge that means that if you are actually prepared and have enough room between you and your opposition you can throw them go into at least a two pip reactor gauge with the medium kick and then at least have something to work off there kind of similar to how spinal does his things where he has to get like he gets one skull from every throw he does that's not too bad there are select other enders that we can talk about really quick but let's get some of the other basics out of the way which is uh normal moves and special moves the other one that's also really good is uh, Down Heavy Punch, which is not a bad anti-air. You can also cancel it into an uppercut as well to get a little bit extra damage. The um, Besides that, that's about it for his normals. Besides, uh, oh, this one. My bad. How did I forget about this? Back Heavy Punch is an overhead, almost exactly like Jago's. And you're going to notice this. Between this thing and this thing, Fulgore is kind of similar to Jago in a lot of ways, and I think this was intentional. Uh, if you notice back in the older Killer Instincts, most characters were the same. Fulgore was just like a different version of Jago back in the day. And that's kind of the case here, but Fulgore is more now a, a mixture of Jago and Spinal. Fulgore has his Cyber Dash. This is the thing that was remembered from all the other games. It's like the best opener and anything next to Win Kick. It's got three variants, a light, a medium, and a hard, which goes really far. But the interesting thing about it is that you can hold down the button for any of these and it goes full freaking screen and actually gives you frame advantage on block. That's really good. You'll also notice that the uh, the reactor gauge on the bottom right is spinning right now, meaning a max reactor. And what this does is it allows Fulgore's complete mobility to be increased. I think it's like by at least 10%, maybe 20%. Uh, but it's quite a bit. You'll notice how my forward dash or even my walk forward is really quick. And if I hold down the forward dash, he like slides and what's interesting enough is that you can actually cancel this into some things you can turn the slide into an attack 
This kind of reminds me of Hakan in some ways in the Street Fighter series. So I do forward, forward, and back, back. I can actually back dash, like fake out and back dash out. It's it's fantastic. Um, besides the cyber dash, which is one of the better the better openers you can do, that's also a linker as well, as you can see. And he has his trademark fireballs. The light one is a single fireball, the medium is two, and the heavy one is three freaking fireballs and does a solid 7% damage. Now, why would you not always want to do the three fireballs? Generally, when you go to the heavier versions of special moves in Killer Instinct, they're not as safe. And by safe, I mean they leave you at kind of a disadvantage position after you throw them out. He'll have a little bit of recovery. But if you choose to throw out the light fireball more often, the light one recovers very fast. Now, what's interesting about this is that you can mix the fireballs in with other moves, like I was showing earlier, at the cost of the reactor gauge. So you can go like... and actually follow it up with something else. That does cost one pip of the reactor gauge, as you notice in the bottom right. But it's worth it sometimes. That's kind of what Fulgore's core is all about. Besides that, he also has the eye lasers, which are back from Killer Instinct 2 and slightly Killer Instinct 1. They were kind of goofy in KI1. They were like right in front of his face. The light one hits low, which is really good to know because you can go for back heavy punch into this low thing. So that's an overhead to a low very fast. See? Really good, really good. Um, but also the medium one is just really good pressure from this distance, and if you notice, these things don't do very much damage at all. Like, they're really, they're, they, they can barely kill, it took like three to almost put Orkin into the, into the danger status. And then finally, the heavy one is strictly for anti-air. This one isn't really good unless you're almost full screen, I've noticed. Like, there's certain setups that you can do with it, but for the most part, I think that the heavy one is kind of designed to, to get you... To get characters like Sadira out of the top end portion of the screen more often, and Glacius and stuff like that. I think that he's really good against opposition that like to keep away, because Fulgore inherently is kind of a, a keep away character as well, which is kind of freaking crazy. So the eye lasers are also linker, a linker as well, so let's check them out right here. And they hit up to three times like usual linkers. Now, Fulgore's also got a teleport, which is similar to some characters, but it acts kind of different. Um, it's, it's a very new thing to Killer Instinct. His teleport is actually screen relative. That means that, for example, if I did forward uh, the Shoryuken motion for his teleport with heavy kick, I'm gonna go behind Orchid over here. That's cool, right? But watch this. If I did Shoryuken motion with heavy kick once more, where do you think Fulgore's gonna go? Behind Orchid? Actually, no. Since it's screen relative, I'm gonna go over here. Exactly where I am. Why would he do that, you ask? Well, pretty much, the heavy kick version is always gonna go towards the right side of the screen. Think of it this way, heavy kick is going to be over here all the time. The medium kick version is always going to be in the middle of the screen all the time. And then the light one is always going to be on the left hand side of the screen all the time. If I go over here and I do the light one, it's on the left hand side of the screen. You, can, you can't really run away with it because even if I'm right here next to Orchid, it goes like mid screen kinda. It's not, it's okay, but it's not that good. The, uh, the nice thing about this is that you can mix the teleports in at the cost of reactor gauge by also using a, uh, by using one of these pips. So if I do this, you can go in like crazy with that. Let's get a couple more charges so I can give you another example. And you can do a bunch of stuff off of this. The, uh, the thing about the, the fireball, like that, check that out. The light one recovers a bit faster. See, the, the three one is good, but it also scales the damage of a lot of combos. And sometimes, if they block it, you'll find that this three fireball, if all of them are blocked, give your opponent, like, almost a full meter. It's ridiculous. So if they're blocking all your stuff, they can easily do something that goes through projectiles completely across the entire screen, and you're screwed if you're trying to play keep away too much. I think one of the best keep away tools is actually the light fireball. Um, it really does not do that much less damage than those of the triple, and is still really effective. Now, let's talk about some of his shadow moves, which are really freaking crazy, and some I'm still trying to find a useful use for. Uh, the big one, actually, we need, to, we need to get reactor gauge for this, because shadow moves are used by reactor gauge. Fulgore does not have a normal shadow meter. So these, uh, these shadow moves are going to take, see the green, the yellow, and the red portions of the reactor gauge? It can use four pips. That means that green and the yellow one are effective for shadow move usage. So if I do, uh, let's try the, the Shadow Laser Fireball. Pretty big, not bad damage, it's okay, it's good for juggles. Let's try the, the Laser, which is, I think, I believe starts low. Not bad for a Linker. And the big one that is probably the most effective of them all is the Cyber Dash. Let's recover a bit more. And this one will, this is the, this is the Teleport Shadow one. We'll go behind them, 
and into them from the opposite side. This is very good if people are throwing out things from the opposite end of the screen and you want to punish them for it. And last but not least, we also have the regular Cyber Dash, which is just a... I believe I believe this goes full screen. Let's find out. Does it go full screen? Yes, it does! That's pretty freaking crazy, which means that you can actually do certain things like the... Uh, the medium or the laser, the laser blasts, which push the opponent back and then still do this one. Check that out. That's kind of freaking crazy. And that's pretty good damage as well. But it takes all of your gauge. That's the biggest challenge of Fulgore, is mitigating how to use your reactor gauge. He's an extreme, what's called a meter management character. And some people might be turned off by this, and some have already expressed difficulty of using Fulgore because he takes, like, all this gauge that you want to use for other things, and he doesn't really get any from anything else besides charging up the core or doing other stuff. There is some other stuff that comes with his unique combo traits, which are abruptly called, um, I think people are calling them triple doubles. Think of it like this. You know how auto doubles hit twice, just like every other character in the game? With Fulgore, if you hold down the button, it hits three times. So it adds an extra hit at the end of every single one. But if you've noticed, every time you execute a triple double, you're getting an extra pip of nuke reactor gauge. Or, uh, and that's that's probably one of the better ways you're going to get this stuff, besides just manually doing this. There is another final way, and that's his instinct, but we'll, uh, we'll talk about that in a sec. Let's quickly go over some of his enders. Here's his damage ender, and it's a big uppercut really similar to Jago's. Here's his fireball ender, which is uh, really similar to a classic version. Uppercut and fireball. I love it, I love it. And uh, the, the one that is probably one of the more effective for getting just shadow meter in general or that 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 reactor gauge is this one because you push them back and i don't believe you can get up quickly beyond this so you get an opportunity to build a little bit of bar the other one that's very good for setups as far as to get gauge is the uh the laser one punch them back and then go into something crazy you can also do the kick and then go into a reactor gauge as well from this you just go into uh into this to get get proper gauge. I think you can at least get three because they're pushed back completely. That one's not bad. That's also his launcher ender. And then his ender that pushes into the corner or the wall splat is the cyber dash. Bam! And they'll flop into the corner. All these are really good, but I think probably the most effective enders of his is the, the fireball one. Because this one allows you to get free meter right after. And then, of course, the damage ender just is extremely effective. I think with Fogor, a lot of the time, you're going to be looking for that damage. Ba 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 bum. Then it gets up there pretty quick. What I like about Fogor is that he has options, but similar to some other characters like Spinal, you need to get that gauge. You need those skulls. You need that reactor meter to actually get the things you really want to open up the opposition. Now, there is one final way to get the reactor gauge, and that's through instinct. As you see right now, we don't have any instinct meter to use, but through the process of popping instinct, reactor gauge will slowly replenish over time. I don't think Fulgore gets access to his uh, his speed boost, but he does finally get it when the reactor gauge is full, so now we can actually do the crazy stuff with it. And when you're in this mode, you get the devastation beam. Ha cha cha cha! only available in instinct it does about 40 percent damage if it's um if it doesn't have anything before it if you put any move and i mean any freaking move before this it'll scale pretty heavily if you have two attacks and you decide to throw it into mid combo it's going to take the damage down a lot and really isn't even worth it at that point generally there are some really good setups for using reactor gauge besides having access to the reactor gauge fulgore also gets some unique opportunities with it as well more notably, if somebody ends up jumping in on you and you want to go into like an uppercut and cancel that into your instinct, you also get a chance to blast them with the reactor gauge, as we'll show right now. And they fall right freaking into it. That one only did 29%, because the, the lighter the uppercut, the, the better a chance you have of getting them in it. So, I think that using the, the light uppercut instead of the heavy uppercut is probably a best anti-air up option. And look at that, that's 35% right there, and you can probably make it even better. So, there's an opportunity there. The other crazy one is that if you set the... If you start setting your opponent to do something, like a combo breaker, for example, you get something pretty crazy. Um, let me see if I can possibly show you. Fight. 
check that out. If you are actually at full meter with Fulgore after a combo breaker, you get an opportunity to do a near 35 to 40% damage. That's really good. Like, just in general, that's not a bad thing. It, you kind of have to, like, mitigate your meter, and Fulgore is already so meter intensive that you kind of have to think about all this other stuff, like, I can't use it here, if I accidentally use it there, it's going to be a problem. But if you have full bar, you get that increased, like, health thing, or I'm sorry, that increased speed thing that lets you go across the screen way faster, and you get the ability to do combo breaker into crazy stuff, anti-air into crazy stuff, uppercut into giant freaking laser... That's really good, and I think that's where a lot of Fulgore's power is going to be. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick look at Fulgore, and hopefully this tutorial helped you getting started with the character. Fulgore's a bit more challenging, probably a bit more than I thought he was going to be in total, but he's still a lot of fun, and I think like Spinal, it's going to take a little while to open him up. Don't get too worried, he's not as difficult to use as Spinal at all, because you can still kind of play him like a Jago character. But get ready when you have to start thinking about things like, I gotta get ready for shadow counters, I gotta get ready for this stuff, because you are gonna have to find ways to get that meter, to manage that meter in some way. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this, my name is Maximilian, and I'll see you next time.